So let's take a look at some of the edge cases that I kind of left untouched the last time. So one major thing is that if we walk up to a wall here and just continue walking towards it, then we're actually going to be able to climb it like that. And that is uh, regardless of how tall it is. And that is basically because we don't really care about how tall the impact point was, where we got that initial trace from. So the other thing is if we stand on a stair like this and then don't move, but in room scale we move. Then you're going to see that the collision capsule will get disconnected and if we move far enough we're going to get teleported back. So let's take a look at these two cases here and see how we can fix those. So we have a check here if we get a hit and we're going to expand that a little bit. <coughs> So we're going to take a look at if we are underneath the maximum um, impact point and or step height and this is something we can get from the bottom of the capsule if we plus a vector split this and then add in the step height here and we want this to be greater than or the C component. We want this to be greater than uh, the impact point. This one. We also want there not to be an initial overlap, so we're going to make an end here. like that. So all of this stuff here we're going to collapse to a macro. Call this under max. Am I typing? Nope. Under, okay. max step height like this so we have this initial check here and then we want to do this additional check if we pass the first one actually let's just switch the order of these like that and then I'm just going to take this part here with the velocity and I'm going to move that to the other side here and then we're going to need a little bit more space I was going to move all of this stuff over here. Like that. So, with this boom here, we're going to make a branch. And only continue if we are under that max step height here. So this is going to fix some of it. We're also going to need to find our event check update actor position where we only adjust our position if we, we are not hitting. So this logic here is basically saying that we're not moving our capsule if we get a hit. So we need to take into account if we are above that max step height or below. So we're going to do something similar here. Break this one. And then also implement this one here. So we'll connect the impact point and the initial overlap here. So if this is above, basically we are going to say that we're going to 
stop the capsule, but underneath, then we're not going to stop it. So, we'll inverse this one, the knot, and then connect this one up. Like that. Let's have a look at it. Now you can see we're not able to climb the walls like we did before and we are able to move in room scale and get the height adjustment. So we'll see something interesting happening here. This is actually above our max height, this exact step here. If I keep pushing towards it, it will actually allow me to walk up on it. It's kind of etching itself up. And it only happens, as far as I can tell, uh, with some of the smaller steps here. As far as I can tell, this is because the capsule is actually tilting a little bit, so it's adding in a little bit uh, height to the capsule so I'm gonna have to sort that out in a way and the best way I've figured out to do that so far is to reset the height if I get to get this case here so we're gonna add a variable to hold the last position of our capsule capsule location and we're going to create a custom event to keep track of last variables this case we are gonna get the world location for our capsule and then we're gonna save it here so notice that we're doing this as the last part of our tick so that when we get around again to our check floor then we have that value that um, capsule position from the last tick so what that allows us to do is to say if this is uh, not under the max step height then we want to do a little bit something and we want to take our capsule in this case here and then want to reset the C part here connect this one up and make a vector and then we want to get the current capsule location where it is supposed to be right now in the X and the Y and then we want to get the C component from that last capsule location Let's have a look at that. So as you can see now, we're not able to climb that.
So what you saw me do here is actually another case that we need to solve. And that is when I hit something midair, but I'm not really getting the behavior that I want. You can also see this happening when we are walking out from uh, a ledge and then in room scale step back again. So we need to sort that by adding also a condition for up on the event check, check update actor position that we only uh, stop our capsule if we are actually falling or walking. So in this case, it doesn't really differ if it's, it's uh, walking or falling or not. So we just move this stuff here down and say it's falling. And say not, that means that it's going to have to be walking. Okay. So let's have a look at that. We might need a little extra something, but let's see how what this solved. So you see now we hit it, but we still fall. So that was a bunch of things that we can add to the list of things that we tested now and seems to be working just fine. So at this point, I think we are ready to move on to try and look at how we can walk on ledges. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.